Hi everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Sarah, and we're Same Difference, and you're watching Entertainment Focus. How are you today? We're good, thank you. A little tired, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're, our voices are gone, but we're really good. We're loving it, loving doing the promotion and everything again. Yeah, very overworked, yeah. I have to say, <laughs> but hopefully you put the effort in and it'll come up trumps in the end. But uh, yeah, feeling good, yeah, very excited about this interview. So you're promoting the new single, which is Shine On Forever. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about the single. Um, well, the single just came about. We were we sat literally in a recording studio. Um, we went for some writing sessions. We were just sat around and we were like, right, let's come up with something. And me and Sean had actually had an argument on the day. Um, <laughs> so literally, we were coming up with lyrics and going, no, that's rubbish. No, that's rubbish. All the time, back and forth for one another. And then we just came up with um, Shine On forever. And we were just like, actually, this really, really works. And we just kind of sat there and put the vocals down and everything. And then... I think we changed it a fair bit as well because there was like... Um there was already a verse set out for us and we kind of went, why don't we just kind of make it a little bit more, you know, like, and then we came up obviously with the with the concept and the idea and everything, but uh, it just seemed to flow really easily, didn't yeah. it, that song, it's really weird. It's, it's a bit of a change for us as well, because it's it's a bit more adult this time around, like, we really wanted, we had a, a conscious effort to try and make something that isn't kiddie and isn't only for children, and I think it's it's a real pop song still, but it's got a bit more of an adult edge this time. It's not so twee and like, oh, darling, jumping around and all that stuff. Because so. it really reminds me, um, it reminds me of like really good classic pop songs, kind of like, you know, from the S Club era oh. and from Steps and those kind of things. I think it's a really, really great track. But that's exactly what we were trying to do. We, we were actually trying to make pop for everybody rather than just the children. I mean, it was it was great for us. It's still, obviously, the, the last album still went gold, so it wasn't like not success by any way, shape or form. But I just think, if pop's more generic and it, it can be for everybody, everyone can enjoy pop and that's what we're hoping to do with this next album. Yeah. Like S Club 7, when they first came out, it was bring it all back and it was for all the kids and like, it was like all smiley and then by the time they were doing like Don't Stop Moving, I think they evolved and the, the adults liked them as well because they had really great songs. So I think that's what we're trying to achieve with this song. Yeah. What I have noticed with your fans and with your followers is um, myself when you're on The X Factor, when it first started, I was a bit like, don't know yeah. Yeah. people are and thought it's not really for me and then by the end of it I found myself rooting for you all the oh, way through and it seems you. that that's been for a lot of your fans it seems to have been that kind of transition where they weren't quite sure and now they're quite hardcore about you yeah. I mean how do you find your following? Do you know we we, we love every single one of us. If anybody who's willing to support us, we're there to give them love and, and, and everything like that. And, um, you know, we're, we're always talking on Twitter, on Facebook, MySpace, and all that kind of stuff. Because at the end of the day, they're the people that mean the world to us. They're the people who are going to make us, you know, bigger and bigger all the time. So it, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, we find that, you know, off the, off the X Factor, you kind of get pigeonholed and you kind of get a bit of a vibe and it's really hard to overturn it and I think that slowly but surely as we've gone out and we've met people and we've done all the grassroots stuff people are turning around and going they're not quite as annoying as they seem on the TV they're not quite you Still know a little bit annoying but not yeah. like massively oh god we'll never be not annoying you know what I mean? we are we are pretty annoying as, as people I'm not gonna lie but no the more people meet us they kind of go they're just regular people that are just nice and you know I think that's something that we really love to do as well. Bigging ourselves up there. <laughs> we're nice, we're yeah. great. No, I think when people, I think that's our main thing, because obviously we we knew, we can always look at someone and go, oh, they'd like us, they wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? And when you see people that you wouldn't necessarily expect to be a Same Difference fan, and they're actually going, oh, I really liked you, and you're great, and yeah. you're like, hang on, like, people in, um, like, say for Twitter, it's an example, and someone's got like Indy in their name, automatically they'll go, they're going to hate Same Difference. Like, and then if it pops up on my Twitter, I'm like, I'm not going to read it because they're just going to be nasty. And I'm like, oh, that's a surprise. They're really, really nice to us. It's actually so, really good. Like, it few, is. Like teenagers and stuff that you wouldn't expect to like has been coming through the signings and we're thinking, oh God, here we go. They're going to they're gonna say something. Yeah. But <laughs> actually, they're good as gold. And um, I think, you know, with, with all the new music and everything, slowly but surely, it's just you know turning around and as like mum and dad said each careful step you can't because I think what we found with the X Factor was you kind of went from nothing to all of a sudden there mm -hmm. and you know there's nowhere to go it's, it's only down yeah. you know what I mean and so, so now it's kind of like and you've got to build a proper foundation you know and um, hopefully we just keep plugging away and it will just you know slowly but surely so that's what we're we. hoping anyway <laughs> So how have you coped with things changing since the X Factor? Because obviously, as you say, you go from nothing to you know, yeah. the yeah. top. Um, how did you cope with all that fame and all that recognition straight after it? Oh, God. It's, it's, it's crazy. At first, um, 
it was like it was all kind of new and fun and it was like oh we, we recognize everywhere we go and it's crazy um and then when kind of obviously the album came out and and it didn't go as high as we really wanted it to and stuff and it was that kind of oh what are we doing now then the recognition gets a bit weird because it's like people come up what are you doing now and you're like oh uh I don't know really we're just we're still plugging away we're still doing music but we're just not as much in the public eye and it's it's kind of nice to be back out there again now and kind of people going oh you're doing the new album we've seen it on the website we've seen this but that initial first burst from being in the X Factor house completely sheltered like they don't let you go out anywhere. I know this year was a bit different because they lived in an area that was known and everyone could just turn up at the house. But with us, it was quite a sheltered house and you didn't really know the hysteria because you were really sheltered from it. And then literally the X Factor ended on the Saturday and the next, on the Mon on the Sunday, they were like, right, you can go home now. We were like, oh, you've not got a plan for us today. And they're like, no, you can just go back home to your family. And it was like stepping back home into Portsmouth, everyone knowing who you are, going from literally just walking down the shop in your pajamas to going oh my god everyone has got a vision of us and, mm. and has an opinion on us and that was like I remember on we went Christmas shopping didn't we and it yeah. was just literally that Christmas we went into one shop all the security they had security to call people to, to come and get stuff, us yeah. out and we were just thinking you know if we wear a hat no one's going to really recognise us and it was just like this swarm of people it was just crazy so it was odd at first having people staring at us all the time and stuff but I think after a while you just get used to it we don't even realise it now <laughs> and when we're out with friends and stuff they're like don't you find it weird and you're like what everyone's always staring at you and stuff and you're like I didn't even know they were because <laughs> you get used to it you know? <laughs> my nana bless her she's so cute right we don't often go out with her shopping like we always see her in a house and a couple of weeks ago we took her out shopping and it was just the funniest thing because every time someone stared she'd go yes they are or you think you are nan please shut up uh, yeah, no, yeah, it was. Just stop it nan stop it and she'd go yeah same different my grandchildren that is and i'm like nan nan seriously like stop there bless her <laughs> have you ever tried the so tried cute. and tested way you turn around and say somebody oh no I'm, I'm not that person i just look like them i get that all the time yeah have you ever done that Never, never done that one. Although I think when we were, I was on the tube once, someone stopped me and they went, "Oh my God, you're that girl." And I thought, well, obviously talking about the same difference. I went, "Yeah, yeah." Oh my God, you're in Harry Potter mo movies. That's amazing. That is the best thing. And I was like, I couldn't really go. Well, no, I'm not. I'm actually <laughs> someone else that you looks a little bit like her. So I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Lovely to meet you, anyway." And I was yeah, I just think like, she, she was it. I do. I wish I was there. That. that was amazing. I was like. I didn't, I didn't know what to say, I was like, oh my god, this is just mental, weird. <laughs>